What's up, everybody? It's Funar from MultiplayerGamers.com. We're back in Next Car Game, and instead of playing on the playground or the development uh, world there, we're going to actually do an actual race today. But first, I wanted to show the interface um, to the game here, and you can kind of see where they're going with the game. This is a Next Car Game from Bugbear Entertainment, by the way. And uh, we can see here, we are currently in the garage. That's what the button up here is selected. Um, there's going to be a market, research, social, and then you just take uh, me to the settings and so forth. Um, these are disabled right now, obviously not in the game quite yet. Same thing with the options down at the bottom here. We've got to set as favorite. Presumably you can have multiple cars. As, as you can see here, I do have three cars to choose from. We're going with the American-made um, vehicle right here. I just uh, the little bit that I've played of this game, I just really enjoy using this car over the other ones. Um, I could sell this car again once that's in the game. Test drive, car information, research, repair my car, which will be very important. <clears throat> and um, excuse me, and we can do uh, changing parts out, which is actually what I'm going to do now. And these settings don't change from. Uh, or don't save from session to session, so um, I'm just going to go ahead and choose uh, my 500 horsepower V8 uh, engine. Uh, gearbox, we're going to stick with the 4-speed drivetrain. Um, uh, we're going to go with the open differential. Um, suspension, I'm going to go with rally, so that we're kind of a good mix between uh, uh, tarmac and off-road. Um, racing, well, maybe racing, because I think we're going to do, you know, we're going to do racing. We'll do a racing suspension. We're going to do a, a tarmac track this time around. Um, brakes. We'll do a balanced kit. Or do I want... Yeah, I'll do a balance. That's fine. Uh, tires. Um, we'll go with the tarmac tires. As you can see, it's changing in the display there. Paint job. Okay, so this is style number one, the orange... Uh, with the Thunderbird on the hood. Uh, style number two, a uh, nice blue and white racing stripe there. Style number three, black and yellow. It's not bad. Style number four, ooh, black and red. I like that a lot. Let's see what style number five is. Five is a green and white, okay. Yeah, I think we're going to stick with uh, style number four. I like, uh, I like the black and red. Um... Uh, so, uh, again, there are other cars to choose from. Um, I just like this one as well. Um, there's a, uh, another rear-wheel drive vehicle, and then uh, a sedan style, and then there's like a mini, mini kind of car. But this one, I like the way it handles. So we're going to race again with this one. Um, and our racing choices here, we got a stadium uh, derby style, demolition derby, figure eight race, gravel track, tarmac, and that is it. So I think... We're going to have a little fun um, in the figure eight. And uh, I should preface this with I, I love racing. I, as a kid, we used to go to the, the dirt track, figure eight track, the demolition derby, you know, the small track amateur racing kind of thing. If you've never been to an, even if you think you don't like racing, if you've never been to an amateur racetrack, you, know, you, should, you should treat yourself and go. It is, it is just a lot of fun. It really is. Um, if you're into cars at all, if you like, I mean, it's just, it's, it's, it's really good to see the talent of some of these amateur guys that you're never going to see them on TV. Um, you know, they, they do it because they love it. They, they have their own stock cars. They fix them themselves. They repair them themselves. They tune them themselves. You know, it's, it's just, it's fun to watch. So I, I'm really excited about the uh, next car game here. So, and so far, I really like what I'm seeing. Um, so we're going to do the figure eight race. Now, Figure eight race is exactly what it sounds like. It is a track that is in a figure eight, and you're probably asking yourself, well, you know, the track crosses itself. It sure does. <laughs> so the figure eight track, um, and as you can see here from the flyby here, um, you know, it's, it's a crisscross in the middle. Um, in, in real life, outside of games, this is so much fun to watch these. Um, and it's not so much, it's definitely not a speed track. You know, you're, you're not... You're not doing this by being the fastest car. You're doing it by being probably the most careful car. I mean, there are plenty of racers who will tell you that just finishing a figure eight race is is just as awesome as, you know, getting in first because it's really about your stamina of your vehicle, um, the driving skill of the driver, and just how to react to the constantly changing um track conditions and, and we're going to see that really quick here in this race. So let's go ahead and start this one. 
And I'm starting in the back of the pack. This is worth worst place to start, and I'll show you why in a second here. As you can see, just utter chaos. Yeah, I already got cars flipping over. Now in real life, it's not quite as dramatic as that, but I'm telling you, it's 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 not that far off, honestly. It's just a ton of fun. And you, of course, don't want to see anybody get hurt or whatnot, but you know. Watching the car crashes can be just as fun too, and that's why people go to figure eights. Is watch, whoa, so we got T ball. So we're in sixth place right now out of 24. It'll be a miracle if uh, half of these cars actually finish the race, and that's just how it usually ends up. Oops, so look at that, I had these offenders stuck under my wheel. See, Bugbear's done a really great job. Um, I mean, just look at the track. You get the, the rubber from the tires that's sticking around, all the bits and pieces of broken concrete from the sides of the track, and the bits and pieces of cars, and fenders, and it's, it's just a... They, they definitely spent a tremendous amount of time on the core engine of the game, and it shows. It's, uh... Which is why I've just been so excited about this game. Try to get a little closer to the front here. Oh, somebody just spun out back there. Oh, I thought that was third place that spun out. It was not. Third place is the guess on the yellow car in front of me here. Yep, first place just wiped it. This car has a tremendous amount of torque and no grip. <laughs> Try to sneak in here. Oh, second place. One more lap to go. Oh, just took first. I don't think I'm not going to hold on to it. Too much of a. There we go. Give him a little, uh, give him a little tap to show him that I'm there. Oh, too wide, too wide. Hit the wall. Oh, is it photo finish. Oh no, no, we're not there yet. One more, one more revolution. We're almost there. He wants it bad. This guy in the yellow car wants it bad. Oh, there we go. 218. Yeah, that's that's a great time, actually, for a... Ooh, that was nice. <laughs> the very end flip there. For a six-lap figure-eight uh, time, that's actually really good. Not to toot my own horn, but, you know, just... Uh... You know, one of the things I, I, I'm curious to know how, just how many cars finished, and I'm sure it'll be in the final game. Again, this is pre-alpha, so I mean, what you see here may not necessarily be the game, but I'm not telling you, the engine, the gameplay, the physics of the game... Ooh, that was awesome. Um, the physics of the game, and uh, it, 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 they definitely are spending a lot of time getting the back-end stuff done correctly, and they're doing a great job, I think. Um, I, I really can't wait to see, you know, another update to this game and more. Yeah, but look at the track. All the rubber on the ground, all the bits and pieces. Just just amazing. We'll, we'll do one more real quick here. Where are we starting this time? We're starting... Oh, that's the flyby. Oh, we're starting in the back and pack again. The AI is actually pretty... Oh. oh, that's not a good place to be. Uh, the AI is actually its pretty okay. I mean, definitely rough around the edges in a couple places. Um, they do race a little bit more aggressively than I think they should. Um, I mean, look, there's already a... Totally clipped him. Already, oh, I've already got critical damage. This is not going to end well for me. Right. Oh. Uh, the AI, I mean, they, they drive incredibly aggressively without... Oh! Well, that was a short track. <laughs> They, as you can see, they drive incredibly aggressively, and uh, um, yeah, it's a little unrealistic. And then the shaky cam's got to do a little bit. Of, they did need a little help on the shaky cam thing in there. I, I understand what they're going for, but it's a little too too harsh. But again, pre-alpha, um, so you know all of this stuff um, is is more than uh, more than okay. The game is just going to keep getting better. Um, so yeah, so I, I I hope you enjoy the game. I'm I'm uh, really uh, I enjoy it myself. Um, it is on Steam. Ooh, it is on Steam. Uh, Pre-alpha. I love the car crashes. Uh, and uh, yeah, definitely check it out. So if if you like the video, um, you know, click on that like button. You know, I, I I plan on releasing more videos of this game as well as the other games in our library here that we like to play regularly. Um, but uh, if you like the channel, click on subscribe for more videos like this and more. Um, 
Also, I invite you to visit our community at MultiplayerGamers.com, where we discuss games just like Next Car Game, as well as a slew of other games that you'll see on this channel here. Um, until next time, this is Funar from MultiplayerGamers.com. Join us next time.